Hello and welcome. I'm going to walk you through how to access your new Feather dashboard. First, you should receive an email from me, Troy Burton, labeled Free Expo Hall Passes for your customers. Once you open the email, it should look something similar to this. So when you're ready to access your dashboard, you'll click here. So here you'll see your Feather dashboard, and on the right you have your customized landing page, email invite, and web banners. We'll start with the customized landing page. Click here to preview. As you can see, you have your company logo, booth number, and company name. So when your customers do click on this button here, it will take them to the registration site with the necessary discount code attached. So there's a couple ways you can share this landing page with your customers. You can click this button to copy the link to share, or you can also share on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. It's pretty easy to share on social media. For example, we'll click Facebook. Here you'll just type in what you want to say about the post, post it to your Facebook page. So when your customers do see this post, they can click here and we'll take them to that landing page. So next we have the email invite. I'll go ahead and preview the invite. As you can see, it's the same as the landing page. Your company name, booth number, company logo. Click on this button that will take them to the registration site with the necessary discount code. So the first thing we'll want to do before we send out an invite is we want to import a customer contact list. So this is an easy and convenient way to send out email blasts to your customers. So we'll go ahead and import the list. Click Next. Keep in mind there should only be two columns in your Excel spread spreadsheet, a name and an email column. And when you go to save that spreadsheet, you want to save it as an XLSX spreadsheet and not the older XLS format. Go ahead and select List. Next, here you have a preview of your customers. I just have three here for an example. Click next. So here you can name um, your customer list however you'd like. For now, we'll just leave this the same. Go ahead and click import. So now we're ready to send out our email invite. Click here. Here you'll choose a list of contacts you'd like to send the invite to. Drop down menu. You have your from address, from name, you have your subject line, and your scheduled date to send. So keep in mind your invite will be delivered the morning of the date you choose. If you do decide to leave this empty, your invite will start going out immediately. Next we have the web banners. So we'll go ahead and pre preview these banners. So there's a few here to choose from. As you can see, it has a booth number included in these banners. So with these banners, you can use these to display on your website or on your email signature. Now, if you do decide to display these on the website, go ahead and click Get Banners. And you can copy and paste this iframe code to your website, or you can send to your web developer to implement. Another way you can receive these banners is to click Get Banner Image. Here you can right click, Save Image As. So when you do decide to download the banner, you want to be sure to hyperlink this link here to that banner. So when your customers do click on the banner, it will direct them to the registration site with that discount code attached. So last you have your company information company logo that you can uh, upload, company name, email address, website, and a short description. So with that, I hope this short tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Troy Burton, at troy.burton at informa.com. Thank you for watching.